Oh, hey, everybody. <laughs> everybody, welcome to What's Your Bacon and Seven Questions. If I'm laughing, it's because I already did this and Mike didn't hit record. <laughs> Hashtag professional, baby. <laughs> Hashtag professional. Buy the t-shirt at baconismypodcast.com. We already had one made because of this very reason. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Uh, our guest today on the show is Lo, and I don't have to ask you how to pronounce it because, <laughs> because I already did. did. It is yeah. frankly in our uh, in the description. How are you doing today? Because I have no I'm idea. I'm great. <laughs> How are you? We're excellent. Uh, you know, I think we handled that well. I think yeah. nobody knows that that uh, that there was an issue, that it wasn't recorded. I don't think yeah. anybody knows. Yeah. I think yeah, it's perfect. No one knows. All It'll right. happen. <laughs> It'll happen. Well, at least I caught it then and not after the episode. So. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, would you like to describe our guest, Lo, okay. today? <laughs> so Lo is what I would like to call a, like a dark pop artist where, I don't know, there's elements of rock. There's elements of pop. Uh, she's a, f a phenomenal singer. Uh, yes. So, yeah, definitely check her out. She's got a brand new single out, Short of You. Uh, her video is coming out soon. Video is coming out soon. Check it out. Mm -hmm. um, and, Lo, are you ready? Uh, are you ready for the, for the world of Bacon is My Podcast listeners to get to know you, your nooks and crannies, to get to know what is the, the double stuff of the Oreo that is Lo? I'm ready. Bring it on. We, we vigorously narrowed this down from 7,432 questions. Yes. Down to the most important seven. Yes. For people to know you. Okay. Even though we're doing an entire conversation that's probably going to take a while on Monday that you can check out. These seven questions are going to be probably the toughest and most important questions that you've ever had to answer. Oh, man, I'm scared. You should be. You should, be. you should be. All right. So are you ready? Have a sip. Cheers to you. We'll take a sip. Mm -hmm. Cheers. All right. Question number one. Lo, how many pillows is too many? Too many. Um, I would say the limit does not exist. And if you mm -hmm. get the Mean Girls reference, then extra mm -hmm. points to you. Um, how many she doesn't even go many? here. She doesn't even go. Here. <laughs> there we go. Um, I, I mean, I honestly, the limit does not exist. I, I will sleep. I think my ideal like pillow situation is, I like to have one on either side of me and mm -hmm. like one or two behind my head, and I just I like to sing in a little cocoon of like pillows and blankets and stuff i have to turn the ac down really really low like make it super cold because otherwise yeah. i'll be sweating all night <laughs> cold sleeper yeah. you're are you you're cold sleeper my uh my guitar player is a cold sleeper and it drives me nuts on the road because uh as a singer i'm just kind of like dude can we not I'm yeah not <laughs> is there any way <laughs> i'm a cold sleeper myself you and well that's why whenever we go places it's kind of like okay um where's the ac i want the other bed yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Lo. Uh, can you please describe the perfect pizza order? The perfect pizza order. Um, like as a whole or perfect pizza or is this like, like for up to you? For you, what is your what perfect is pizza the... order? Okay. Um, well, as far as pizza goes, I personally am a supreme I like a Supreme, but no sausage. Um, only pepperoni and then a bunch of veggies, a bunch of veggies. Um, but I always have to order like some breadsticks or garlic knots or something on the side. Like I yeah. have to, even if I'm like by myself ordering, I'll take the leftovers. I have to have one of those things on the side. Now, Chicken rolls. Pin, yeah. Uh, where, where, are you, where are you located right now? Where are you coming at us from? I'm in LA. You're in LA. Okay. So, so LA doesn't do it either. I know. And New York doesn't do it either. I, I grew up in the Midwest and we've talked about this before, like breadsticks in the Midwest used to come and still come in the Midwest with cheese sauce because in the Midwest, they put cheese on everything. They fry everything. <laughs> they put cheese on everything. But I will say breadsticks with cheese sauce is amazing. Breadsticks with marinara. 
kind of go fuck yourself. I already got a, I already got a pizza. I have a pizza with sauce on it. Yeah, but uh, pizza so does not have like a nacho cheese on it. Give me that with my breadsticks. Oh, amazing. I, I I don't hate on the the nacho cheese, but I mean marinara sauce. Can't totally I mean it's not bad. Yeah, you know what? Like, give me all the sauces. I love the sauce. I'll take a variety. You know, marinara, cheese sauce, ranch, whatever you want to yeah. give me. I'll take them both. I'll go from a marinara yeah. into a cheese sauce no, into a, into you're a just garlic. A savage, butter. then Are I am a savage. <laughs> I am a savage. I am a combiner of flavors. Get I to like the next, a, next question. That's I like a, a lot flavor of flavors. Explosion. <laughs> I like a flavor explosion. Every bite is you different. can't you can't have. Uh, you're you disgust me. <laughs> anyway, good pizza order. I yeah. like it. I like it. Supreme, Thank you. supreme, but with pepperoni. I prefer pepperoni to the sausage as well. Personally, crumbled uh, sausage is, is a game changer for me. That's crumbled cool. sausage is good, but I, I love pepperoni cups that kind of fry up a little bit and then like they get, they get all little... crispy around the edges. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God, they're so good. <laughs> all right. All right. True or false? Cereal is a soup. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to say. Oh man, that's hard. I want to say false. I'm leaning towards false, okay. but I know you're going to say explain that, and I have no explanation because <laughs> I know that there are cold soup. You got to go with your gut. You got to go with your yeah, gut. Yeah, my okay. gut's telling me. My gut's telling me false. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, gift cards, lame gift idea, or great gift idea? Um, I think they're a great gift idea because I am very picky. And <laughs> difficult to shop for. Um, so unless you know exactly what to get me, a gift card in my eyes is never like impersonal or a shitty gift. I think it's great. Yeah. Is it uh, is it bonus bonus points if it's a gift card to a store they know you like, or do you? Oh, prefer, for sure. Yes. Or are you like give me like a Visa card and and I'll pick. Thing works. I I get how some people say like, oh, that's an impersonal gift, but I think, I mean, who knows what to get you better than you, right? Exactly. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you personally gave me money, right? That's a yeah. very personal exactly. gift. Exactly. So that's my thing is I'm just like, if you're gonna, if you're so kind to give me a gift, you know, there are certain things that I may want or need that you maybe wouldn't think of, so. Mm -hmm. A gift card, perfect. Yeah, fantastic. I like fantastic. it. All right. Question number five. What number is Mike thinking of? Eight. I don't get an answer. What's your go-to jukebox pick? Oh man, jukebox pick. Yeah. Um. We'll set the scene. You enter a bar, whether you're on tour or whether you're around, right? You see there's a jukebox. You're about to go up to the bar, order yourself. Even one of those fancy ones with the screw, touch screen. Order yourself a vodka beverage, a, vo a vodka soda. Vodka soda, extra right? lime. Extra <laughs> lime. There's a jukebox there. Nobody's listening to anything good right now. And you're like, I'm going to make these people know I'm here. What's your jukebox um, pick? Anything from Chromatica by Lady Gaga. Mm. I like it. Excellent answer. Yeah. Love Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. I love Absolutely. Gaga and that album is everything. That al yeah. I'm glad yeah. you agree. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So good. Yeah. The whole, the whole album's so good. She's she's so ridiculous. Like, just as an entertainer and a songwriter, like, fuck. Like, you you look at some of her credentials as a songwriter, and you're just like, really? Yeah, she's yeah, ridiculously you talented. <laughs> Did either of you see her? There was an old MTV show, and I don't remember what it was, but they they would occasionally have like local artists and musicians on there, and she was on there in New York playing piano in a bar. Oh, and uh, she had, was it at the bitter end? Yes, she was at yeah. the bitter <laughs> end, and uh, she she had like black hair at the time, and she wasn't Lady Gaga yet, and she was just playing piano doing like a doing like a solo piano show and she was actually on an mtv show doing that yeah. uh, i didn't see that someone sent that to me like later and i was like oh my god this is awesome this is yeah. so cool 
NYU, and so she went to NYU before she dropped out, and so there's like a lot of Lady Gaga lore, right. you know, like what farm she lived in and right, what she right. used to do when she lived in the area. So that's that's how I knew that one. <laughs> nice. I've I've played at the bitter end, and I used to hang out with a couple people from NYU and a bunch of people from the Fashion Institute when I first moved to New York. I was living in the city and I was right around that area. So I used to. I used that's to be, the best area of New York. Maybe that's when we met. When were you there? <laughs> uh, it was in the early, let's see, 2011 or 2015. That we, we might have met down there, actually. Wait, maybe. Um, like, yeah, I was there yeah. and then touring after that for the couple of years after that. So. Cause I was there like uh, 2009 to like 2012 ish. And that's when I was there. There's I was overlap. Kind of, I was there a lot. I was hanging out there a lot and I was hanging out with people at NYU and people at the fashion Institute all the time. And I was down at that's the middle so all the time. And that is so funny. Nice. It's such a small world. It is a small world. It's crazy. It really is. It's yeah. crazy. Who knows? We may have performed together at one point. Probably. Who knows? Who knows? I was doing a lot Who of acoustic knows? shows back then. So never, if you were ever around those, I might have been one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Very important question. Very important question. It's number final, seven. Final question, maybe. Because this question determines if you're eligible for the bonus question. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so steady yourself. You know, I know your nerves, your adrenaline's going because these questions have been very hard hitting. I'll let you know, not to put any pressure on you, but okay, literally okay. no one has not been approved for the bonus question. So if you're not, that you would be the first and ultimate failure. I mean, my mom tells me I'm the ultimate failure all the time, so that's nothing new. Hey! <laughs> it was low-hanging well, fruit. I had to go for it. Cheers to mean moms. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers to mean moms. Okay. All right. So, final question. Lo, how do you feel about garden gnomes? I think they're very creepy. Creepy is a common answer. It's a very common yeah. answer. Yeah, I mean, that's just a weird question. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what we do here. It's kind of what we do. Of all the things I was expecting you to ask, that definitely wasn't one of them. You're welcome. <laughs> all right well see now somebody somewhere down the line is going to be like out of all the interviews you've ever done who asked you the weirdest questions you're going to be like bacon is my podcast <laughs> those, hey you know what those dudes i'm going to keep that in my pocket see there you go mm -hmm. and then when someone asks you a question that is the same question you've been asked a thousand times you can answer it with here's my answer you know how i feel about garden gnomes and don't even address the question that they asked. Yeah. Perfect. Like when they're like, how did you get your name? And you go, I think garden gnomes are creepy. Life lesson from Bacon is my podcast. That's what we do that's here. What we pro do. That's, what we do. Pro that's, tip. that's what we do here. It's all we, about the pro tips. We aim to enrich. <laughs> that's what we do. Absolutely. Awesome. And and everybody that's watching right now, you already feel enriched and you right. already know that you want to tune in on Monday and you want to see the whole chat that we have with Lo. Right. We're going to get into all kinds of fun stuff. Maybe. I don't know what we're going to get into because um, we're just going to talk about whatever the hell comes up. Yeah. And it's going to be a fun time. So you guys want to tune in. You want Wait, to check it out. But she's get she, bonus question. Unless you don't want to Could get I into fail? it. Oh, I did. I, 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 I was I was going to say no, but you say yes. Oh, OK. Yeah, I say yes. I okay, say yes. so yes, there we go. All right, we got it. Unbelievable. <laughs> the audacity. Last minute. This was like <laughs> last minute save on the bonus question. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. This is like, yeah, this is like the Earl Hebner coming out and that going, was nice. That's, that guy's face was like surgically placed on the other guy's face to get other reference. If you don't get that reference, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> it was so poorly told. It's, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was bonus question. I, bonus question. I agree. You get the bonus question. Bacon. Is it a topping? Is it a side? Or is it a main course? 
I think that it's all three. That's what we like to hear. We like somebody that thinks outside the box and gives the right answers, which is exactly what you did. Yes. Aren't you glad you gave me the bonus question now? Yes, we are. We are. <laughs> See? Yes. Hey, you know what? I was wrong. You were wrong. I was wrong. And at least he'll admit it. I will. I'll yeah, always admit it. Big man it. to admit that. I'm uh, I'm often wrong. Well, no, I'm not really often wrong. Most of the time I'm right. But like I was wrong. <laughs> of the time. Yeah, 1% half of the a time. Percent, half a percent. Well, 60% of the time, all the time. Just like Sex <laughs> Panther. Yeah. <laughs> so, Lo, please tell everybody where they can find you, your music, all the socials, all that fun stuff. Um, all of my socials are the same. It's all I am Lo, handles, links, everything. I am Lo. Um, I'm on every streaming platform i'm on youtube uh if you search low you should be able to find me awesome awesome very cool and, and you guys, now uh, jimmy well, went through the whole rigmarole before yeah. so you guys know you that like stay. come back on monday but between now and monday go listen to some music check out the single learn to love it share it with friends gather yes, some please. people and uh and listen to the episode on monday and find out a little bit more about low and always ask yourself Every day. What's your bacon? What's your bacon? <laughs>